can't believe I made it through that. Hi everybody, how are you? I'm John, you can call me Smelly. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at this neat little guitar here. This is the Fender American Performer Mustang. And it's a pretty cool little guitar. Uh, we're gonna go through some of the specs on it and then I'll kind of point out the one thing about this that makes this guitar a little bit kind of special. So you can see it's kind of stratish in body shape. Um, it doesn't have quite as many contours down here, uh, but has a stratty kind of looking headstock. And um, from there, though, everything else looks a little bit different. So the big thing with the Mustangs is the size. So the neck size is really where it's at. So the neck length on this is 24 inches, where standard strats and tellies are 25 and a half. So for all of you who don't want to do the math, that's like an inch and a half shorter. So what that does for you is makes a guitar that, and this could be a plus or a minus depending on who you are, that plays a little different, sounds a little different, feels a little bit different. Uh, the shorter scale length obviously means that you can reach things a little bit easier, and that's why I did the little thing at the beginning. So these little stretched out type of things like that. <laughs> I mean, I can do them on a regular size guitar, but it's a little bit easier to do on a guitar that has a shorter scale length like this. Uh, it also makes it so the strings are a little bit slinkier. So you could actually go with like maybe a slightly heavier gauge of string on here to kind of balance it out if you wanted. Uh, these were originally designed to be kind of student guitars way back when in the 60s when Fender first came out with them. And that's why it has the shorter neck and really even the body's a little bit smaller as well. Um, this is by no means though a beginner guitar or a kid's guitar or a toy. This is a fantastic playing and sounding instrument and we'll kind of get into it here in a little bit. I did one time have one of my guitar nerd friends or stuck up guys tell me no serious musician would ever gig with a Fender Mustang to which I said uh, Dude, you're in the Nickelback, shut up. So yeah, this is, in the right hands, this guitar could absolutely change, change the world. Obviously not these hands, but the right hands. Um, everything on it is pretty standard for a Fender, you know, bolt-on electric guitar neck. You've got a maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard, you know, medium jumbo frets. It's a nice profile. It's not super, super thin. It's on the thinner side, but not super thin. And then, of course, down here, you've got two pickups, and these are the Yosemite pickups. I think it's supposed to be pronounced Yosemite, but Larry says I'm wrong, that it's Yosemite, so agree to disagree. You've got selector switch, bridge, middle, neck, so pretty simple layout there, and then a volume and a tone. And then this is the Fender, they say this is the improved vintage tremolo, which I'll show you that it, it does work, you know. <laughs> which sounds pretty cool. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much, it's an electric guitar. I will say this, if you were a young beginner and you had a parent that bought you this, you've got the best parents in the entire world. The pick, I do like the pick guard too, the Perloid. I've always kind of got a soft spot in my heart for Perloid pick, pick guards. I think they look great. And you know, this is, what do they call this? The baby blue, is that what they call this? this it's not sonic blue, is it? Daphne, is it Daphne? It's a blue. It's bluish. He's going to put on the screen what kind of blue it is, but it's pretty. Uh, actually, this would be the color of, like, would be great in, like, a, in a, a, like an infant's room, I think. So maybe that's why I want to play delicate on it, because it is small, and it reminds me of, babe, you know, a baby's, <laughs> the color on a baby's wall. I don't know. I am probably not saying the right things, you know, to all of you who are into heavy, aggressive music. This might not be the guitar for you. I don't know. Or you can just laugh at convention and dare somebody to make fun of your Mustang. So we're going to go through a couple of sounds with it. And for me, um, I've never owned a Mustang. I've played a few over the years, and I think they're cool. And they really do. They play pretty pretty easy just because you do have the shorter scale length. Um, I think tone wise, it's not all too different than a Strat. You know, I would say you've got two single coils on it, so you might think Tele, but really without the, the base plate, the bridge pickup's not gonna really sound like a Tele. So we'll start in the bridge and in clean, and you can get some pretty honky sounds out of it if you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
especially if you're intending to get honky sounds out of it. Of course, that's kind of where I live, so I'm always gonna do that. Let's go to the middle position. Yeah, kind of stratty in the middle. But the one thing that you'll notice, and by the way, we're plugged into the car SV again, which I don't think at this point I need to say anything else about it because you all know I love it. Uh, this doesn't sound like it's a small guitar. It doesn't sound small. It doesn't sound like a toy or a child's guitar. We'll go over the neck pickup. Pretty big. I actually think that neck pickup sounds pretty phenomenal. Let's go to some dirt and see what we can do there. I'm gonna leave it on the neck pickup. Middle pickup. down to the bridge. It's actually pretty raunchy. This would be a great like rock guitar. It's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. So it's pretty neat guitar. Uh, this is one of those that I think uh, anybody who picks it up is probably going to say the same thing. And this thing plays pretty fantastic, sounds pretty fantastic. Um, I don't know, maybe someday I will have one too. I don't know if I would go with this color though, because now I just keep thinking about like an infant's room. So I might have to go with something a little bit more dangerous, like red, maybe red. Anyway, my name's John, you can call me Smelly. And if you have any questions about this or anything else, please feel free to call down here, talk to one of our sales associates, post in the comment section, or get on our website at moreguitars.com and we will get get you squared away. So I do appreciate you hanging out and listening to my silliness and rambling and everything. And I will see you all in the next video.